What's up all my Ewok Shibbles droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And today, I'm going to be talking about the new X-Men series. Now, uh, if you guys were not aware of it, the other day was Disney Plus Day. Why is that special? Why is there a Disney Plus Day? It's literally just the anniversary of them launching or Disney launching their uh, Disney Plus streaming platform and I guess now from now on they're going to use that anniversary of them launching it as a, a day to announce things so I guess mark your calendars for that but one of the things that they announced on this day was that they are going to be continuing the classic and beloved X-Men the Animated Series uh, show and they're going to be doing a continuation with X-Men 97. Now Instinctively, me, a big X-Men fan, as you guys saw, I, you know, did a whole uh, transformation into Rogue, and I was, you know, cosplaying as Rogue for Halloween slash my birthday, and I was like, wow, that's random that the same time I decided to cosplay as Rogue from the animated series, they're, they do this big announcement of it, I'm like, huh, is my subconscious trying to tell me something? <laughs> or were they just really inspired by my costume? No. They're not. Just kidding. But I saw this and I was... Immediately I was excited and then I remembered the reality of the situation. They made Wolverine, Jean, and Cyclops uh, all, you know, in a three-way relationship. So I guarantee you that's what this show is going to be about. And it even says it over here on, you know, the official Marvel News uh, site. It says, oh, you know, but uh, we really want to, ele uh, but to really elevate, that's the responsibility. So it's their responsibility to preach to us social justice issues and how Wolverine and Cyclops are both dating each other and Jean Grey. It's like, wow, you really don't understand these characters at all. And so, of course, uh, you know, people have been going and learning about certain people that are going to be actually working on this show. So uh, let's take a look. This is a tweet from Data Racer. Again, everything that I'm showing you is going to be linked in the description of this video. If you guys are not subscribed, take a minute, smash the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all. That way you actually get notifications when I do other videos and live streams. Also, make sure that you guys are following me over on Twitter. So that way you guys see when I, you know, retweet news and stuff like this if you want to be extra informed beforehand. So this is from Data Racer, a supervising director of Disney Plus X-Men cartoon reboot thinks everyone is a racist bigot. Don't expect these people to respect your beloved childhood show. So uh, this uh, Jake uh, Castanera, I'm going to butcher his last name, so we're just going to call him Jake. Okay, uh, this team is cooking up some dope shit. Grateful to be a part of it. See you in 2023. Uh, swipe if you nasty. Okay, that's weird. Um, here we go. So it is, I don't, this is him retweeting, I don't have to do shit to make racists feel better about being racist. Quality tweet. Uh, important in all caps. Just to be clear, uh, unifying the nation does not mean <laughs> placating racist, misogynist, and homophobes. Now back to the celebration. Uh, racism doesn't take a day off. Hashtag BLM. Hashtag no justice on peace. And then an Instagram thing. Uh, are we great yet? Hashtag defund the police. Hashtag BLM. Hashtag George Floyd. Hashtag ACAB. I don't know what that is. Uh, Jake, uh, it's 2018. We should be living in celebrating diversity and growth and not still talking about it in future tense. These facts suck. Uh, read tweet, a uh, rad tweet brought to you by some rad facts. Hashtag impeach. Uh, hashtag Cheeto. Why is it Cheeto? Why, why are they bringing Cheetos into this? Uh, hashtag 20th, 25th and Amendment Now. Hashtag This Fool Sucks. Um, guys, I don't really like to talk about politics or get involved in politics in any way. I'm just, you know, reading what this guy is saying. Uh, Doug Report uh, Task, whoever the heck this is. Yee, she's going to do Greatest Fate of Valentine. I'm sold. Give me this cowboy beep bop show. Oh, this is uh, the video where that uh, the actress that is playing Faye Valentine basically said F you to the fans. I've done a couple videos on that. If you guys want to go check them out, I will link them in the description of this video. Uh, since these bigots are mad about Kelly Marie Tran's role in the new Star Wars, we're going to teach them a lesson with our new trailer. Hashtag L... S S C. I don't know what that is either. Um, racist Star Wars fans deeply disappoint me. Racist Star Trek fans confuse the hell out of me. And those are just things that he retweeted. And then he had uh, a BLM sign in his uh, profile picture. And 
actually since then, because if you actually go to his Twitter, I think he changed it uh, <laughs> after, you know, Data Razor released, uh, released his, uh, you know, little little compilation there. I honestly think that having the Dodgers in your freaking profile picture or being a Dodgers fan is way more insulting than any of the other things I saw, uh, cause fuck the Dodgers, go Giants. Um, so yeah, that's one of the guys that is, uh, working on the show. So here's the thing. There are plenty of people throughout history that I'm sure feel very passionately about certain political movements or political parties, but they are also able to be adult enough to separate their own personal politics from a character's, your characters are writing in a show. I don't really think that people in Hollywood are capable of doing that anymore, but I can still have hope. But, uh, this, this guy just seems kind of immature. And even if you go over to uh, his page with the, um, you know, with the, that swiping thing, it, it is what it is at this point. But I, I'm really not surprised at this point. And I think that's one of the most depressing things about this is I'm just not surprised at the people that they're choosing to hire. All right, so we just took a look at the supervising director, which is uh, Jake, who we just took a look at. And now we're going to look at the supervising producer, who is Charlie Feldman. Now, I have Charlie's uh, Twitter pulled up, and as you guys can see right off the bat, uh, Charlie is a member of the Pronoun Police. And then uh, I scrolled over to Charlie's uh, Instagram. Now, this is Charlie right here. Everyone take a look. And then as we go down a little bit, I was like, oh, lovely politics, of course. And I think that this is kind of uh, ironic because it's, you know, F white supremacy and then going all in uh, to the political side of it. And then I'm just like, but, but Charlie, you're like, <laughs> you're like almost as white as paper. I don't know what you're talking about here. I just think that it's, it's so ironic that everyone that works in Hollywood nowadays all think and believe and say the exact same things. It's, it's like, again, I have absolutely no interest in politics. I don't care what other people's political opinions are. What I care about is keeping true to the source material and the characters and the universe. And when people's biggest, you know, goal is to push their politics down your throat that immediately makes me disinterested and turned off from that show which or you know that that book that tv show that movie and so i just think that it sucks because i was really i love x-men and i was really looking forward to this so i am uh pretty sad about the people that are working on this i just hope that uh they're able to you know separate their personal beliefs from the actual source material and stay true to the source material and actually, you know, put storytelling above, you know, their woke ideology, which I doubt is possible, but that's, uh, that's my two cents on it. Anyways, everyone, let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you for watching this far through. Let me know your speculations about this series. What do you guys think we're gonna, uh, what do you expect to see here and all of that stuff. Uh, do you think it'll stay true to the original series and the source material or no? Uh, and I'm not talking about the new source material. I'm talking about the OG source material, the OG X-Men, not any of this new woke shit. But anyways, everyone, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and may the force be with you, because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Once again, thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my channel and my content. And I have a really exciting project that's live right now on Indiegogo. Due to requests from those of you in the chat that have been watching for a long time, I did a whole transformation video on going rogue for Halloween this year. And some people suggested, hey, Anna, you should do a calendar. So I did. It's live now on Indiegogo. The link is in the description of this video. G click it. Go check it out. See the tiers that I I have available and thank you very much everyone. I also have an Etsy where I sell prints of my original artwork like oil paintings and drawings of various characters. So go check it out. Link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much everyone. Have a great rest of your day.